Welcome to your lesson in draped splits. This is a really lovely slit shape that happens from cross back straddle. So you'll begin from split silks. You do need a little bit of height here because you have to make the silks turn into drapes underneath you. And we can get into cross back however you'd like. So I'm doing eight beater wraps. You could do figure eights on this. That's okay. And I'm going for just the plain traditional cross back entry just to save us time. You have to keep in mind which silk is closest to your back. Notice it was the left one for me in this entry. So once you're in your cross back, grab the very edge of the tail and slide your hands down. Place the tail in the opposite toe between your big toe and your second toe, and then do the same thing on the other side. Now, if you have a lot of flexibility, you definitely have to continue to actively press your heels up towards the ceiling on this to avoid over straddling. Now I'm grabbing the tails and spinning, just so you can see this from a few different directions. Okay, and I'm actively squeezing my toes together so I do not lose my silks. Sit your chest up, make note of which silk is closest to your back, so that's my left, and then I lower into a split and notice the silks are beautifully draped underneath. And then to get out of it, simply grab, stand up, try your best to release the silk between your toes and then take your foot locks off. All right, let's do this again. So doing our egg beater wraps, optional or figure eights, stepping into the foot locks, placing your cross behind your back. So in my case, I know that the left one is going to be closest. Now when I invert into my straddle, I'm actively pressing my heels up towards the sky to avoid over straddling. Because when you grab the tails here, sometimes it can pull you into a deeper straddle. It's hard to get out of. So I'm sliding my hand down, down, down. If you don't grab enough silk, um, sometimes the the drape is too close to your body and it can be a little bit awkward to get out of this. So make sure it's pretty drapey underneath you. And then getting the silk between your big toe and your second toe. And then the same thing on the other side. This can be a little bit finicky depending on if you're outside and it's windy, if your feet are sweaty, um, all of those factors can play into this. And then once your silks are situated between your toes, optional spin, gathering them together, but still try to keep your toes squeezing together so you don't lose the wraps that can be frustrating you do all this work and then they fall off all right and then when you're ready you would release your silks and then get ready to sit up I already know that the left silk is closest to my back so I'm going to sit up my left hand grabs the left silk and the right arm reaches through to lower into my split. Notice my left hand ends in a flamenco grip up there. And then you can play with different split shapes, of course, one hand on the front, one hand on the back. You can do what feels best for you and your body. And then coming up, try your best to get those off gracefully. I know easier said than done. And then we'll do it one final time. So finding the edge and place it in your toes. Same thing on the other side. Placing it in your toes. Sitting your chest up. Optional spin. Grabbing. I know I'm going for my left side, right arm reaches through into my split. Playing with different arm positions here. Meeting your legs together, releasing it off your toes, take your foot locks off, come on down. And that was your lesson in your draped splits.